Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Halicia, but I go by Lee. And if you're new here, I do videos on fashion, lifestyle, travel, beauty, and of course, fashion, which is what you guys are watching now. I know I've been pumping out quite a bit of fashion content, but there's definitely gonna be more vlogs and hair content coming, so just stay tuned for that. But today, today is about fashion. And of course, if there's anything else that you wanna kinda see on my channel that I have been neglecting lately, then let me know in the comments below. We are going to begin into the spring 2024 fashion trends. Now, most of these are predictions based on what I saw on the runway previously. And I'm definitely gonna be popping up pictures of examples and things. I'm not covering all of the trends. I'm really just covering the ones that I'm a bit more interested in or the ones that I am loving. So first up, this is probably the least loved on the list. And it is actually quiet luxury. This has been a thing all over TikTok. And what I take from it is that logo mania is basically out the door. Do I care? No, because there are still some logos that for a fact I'm going to continue to rock, for a fact I still love, for a fact I really still think are timeless and classic. I understand that this is really stemming from like the dupe or the rep, more or less so the replica culture, the girlies on the gate or the girlies on the fence that have been buying up replicas that really actually do emulate the real thing to the best of their ability and i think that people are getting to the point where you can't really tell the difference so they're just like over it and we're just like oh we'll just move into quiet luxury people just want to be different that's what i take from it and i'm not against it however for me quiet luxury is a bit boring but it's trending so here we are sharing it with you what i take from it is just quality pieces that's what i take so you take out the logo and you just invest in high quality pieces but to me they don't necessarily have to be luxury because there are certain pieces where you definitely can't tell to me shopping at brands like cause or the frankie shop will give you that quiet luxury feel without the price it's trending though it's a thing and i'm putting it at the top of the list because it's probably my least favorite on the spring 2024 fashion trends list moving on where are your logos though girl like don't be up in a frenzy about this don't ever let anybody dictate or tell you what is in and what is not in all a trend is is something that is set to be popular meaning that it's going to be easily accessible meaning that you'll be able to grab it find it shop it very easily that is all that this means which also means that you're going to see a lot more of it because it's trending but that does not mean that you have to fit in that box i'm still gonna be a little loud with it next okay the next one i really like and i feel like i've been purchasing more of this a lot lately and that's going to be sling backs and kitten heels we saw a lot of this last year it was a big thing i've showed you several pairs of them i have a couple of pair now where i put them is you know what i could actually put them in storage for spring summer but they are by they are the prada dupes and they were by tony bianco i'm gonna leave them on the screen and then i'll leave them linked but they are both of these trends in one it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do both but here's what i'm thinking people are over those super high stilettos they're hard to walk in they're not really practical either especially if you're going to be on your feet they're more of like a show shoe you know like you show off and you sit down but they're not i guess like an everyday shoe or they're a shoe that you might bring to the office but you're sitting in your office chair most of the time but this is another example I forgot about these and it's these by diesel i want to say that i got last year and definitely give you the vibe sling back not a super kitten heel but still a much lower heel but this is the shoe vibe that we're going for and i also noticed that most of the shoes are going to be at least in terms of heels are pointed toe so the pointed toe is back the roach stumpers are back the square toes had their moment i feel like rounded toes are pretty much classic and i'm here for it because i also do feel like this is more of a classic style shoe 
Now, it's not as comfortable as that square toe, which is what I really liked, or that really rounded toe, but it is something that's gonna be trending, and it's still a trend that I absolutely love. I feel like you can't go wrong with it, and kitten heels, honestly, are super comfortable, so I'm not against it. In terms of shoes, another thing that is also trending is ballet flats, but we're seeing like a different spin on ballet flats. Last year when ballet flats really came on the scene, it was like the literal interpretation of a ballet flat. Like if a ballerina were to wear that shoe on a daily basis, that was the shoe that we actually got, which I think is cute, but I think that people looked at it as a little bit too trendy. And now it's more of like an interpretation of a ballet flat. Now, the only thing about this is this kind of reminds me of when I was a teacher and we were like, those flat shoes every day it was more of like a comfort thing and not like a fashionable thing because it was like business casual and we had to be on our feet a lot so it just made sense because of that it's like mm, i'm on the fence with them there are some that i like so if you just saw my luxury wish list then you already know i do like the alaya ones but again still definitely on the fence with this trend so i would definitely dupe it just to try it out see if it's suitable for you but we are going to see this resurgence of ballet flats which depending on your day-to-day -day life you might be seeing this already this might be a normal thing but i think that for the rest of the world maybe not so but it's trending some of them are cute some of them not so much so pick and choose whatever you want i like platforms but they're not I guess as trendy but again th this is this is like a a toss-up of a trend i definitely think that there is a pair out there for everyone finding that pair is going to be the difficulty this one is is a favorite i've been noticing that i've been purchasing so many like all of my coats that i purchased over this winter have been long and why because i've been seeing longer coats and what is trending for spring 2024 is long trench style coats i absolutely love them i actually wore one with this dress and it's like a brown faux leather very long it is so beautiful now that was before i got the collar cut off on this dress because i don't like turtlenecks but that's neither here nor there i wore it with this it is absolutely stunning i also have another one that i just got y'all when you see it it is and i have a gray one that people keep complimenting me on when i wear it out they're like Oh, that's a coat so i'm definitely gonna leave all of these coats linked below and any other pieces that i find that fit the trend especially if they are on the affordable side or on sale i got you i'm gonna leave them in the description bar below but let me show y'all this one for right now because i actually stalked it i hunted it and it went on sale for a price that i was comfortable with you know she has not even made it out of the dust bag yet but i'll take her out for y'all okay look at this coat and you can't look at it it's so different. I'm gonna have to show you what this looks like on the body at some point. I'm, I just gotta get like a really good picture in it because this is a coat, baby. And she's warm. It's not velvet, but it kind of has like that worn velvet look to it. But again, still like a trench style coat. It goes to the ankle. You got those big chunky pockets. It's just everything that I would want and more. But that is what's trending. And what's great about this particular trend is that it is so practical. We know that the earth is on a downfall and climate change has really affected how cold it is. Even here in Houston, we've been getting cold weather, like freezing cold weather, which is absolutely abnormal for this region however it's been happening so having the practicality of a long coat is phenomenal because you actually stay warm in a long coat from head to toe and i really really appreciate that and it's just chic it looks so good it's one of those things that's just like 
wow like she's polished she's put together she's she's on her grind she's that girl that's what to me a long kind of like trench style coat gives it's also just classic so i absolutely love this trend and for anybody saying you can't wear coats in the spring lies it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a wool coat next up is short shorts we're talking about micro mini booty shorts we're taking it back 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 in the day but it's like with a classier touch so the way that they're being worn right now is typically with some type of oversized top like an oversized sweater or knit or a long coat pair it together we saw either it was bella or Gigi hadid do it we saw beyonce do it i did it some people love it some people hate it it's kind of like those bloomer style shorts i think that it's it's an amazing trend i feel like it gives you that breathability it's interesting it's still chic and it's almost like mysterious especially when you every time i've seen people wear them for the most part they've worn them with tights probably now just because it's just cold but i do think that moving into the spring you can get away with them without tights but to me tights as that coverage so that it's not too much because it's almost like you're wearing a bloomer i've shared this trend i want to say twice the time that i shared it where i wore the gray ones people were up in a frenzy so i feel like it's it's one of those things where it's either you hate it or you love it i personally like it you know i'm i'm not gonna say i love it but i do definitely like it if i found better fitting or higher quality versions of them i would definitely continue to wear this trend the two pieces that i got were you know they were inexpensive they were literally just try it out and i've been wearing them so i mean <laughs> there's something there i've worn both of them out more than once in probably like a month month and a half so i know that it is something that i could see myself moving forward with i just think that you have to find the right fit because you know our bodies be body sometimes you know and it could be too much it could kind of look a little raunchy and that's not what we're going for we're going for a classy version of this but i love the little micro mini shorts i think that they're cute i think that they're a play off of the micro mini skirts but now we're a little bit more covered with the shorts essentially the next one is going to be florals but florals done differently so not your typical flower print although you could go in that direction i actually have a shirt that has somewhat of a flower E print in it but it's in like the shape of a body so it's a little bit different but what i'm seeing or what i saw on the runways was florals done kind of like metaphorically texture are like larger layers you have kind of like this fluid rose but it's being created with like a ruffle sort of setup or a bunch of layers of tool we actually saw jacques mousse do it a little bit last year and i have one of the shirts that's cream and it has like floral boobs but they're um just really like layers in a circle layers of fabric in a circle that covers the boobs and that was essentially the florals so we're seeing that but like on a much larger scale and i do like this i feel like this is very interesting it's unique it's something a little bit different to look at and i am just enjoying it because i'm a sucker for texture i also think that this is going to look well on so many body types and there's such a range of what you could do with this particular trend you know i feel like everybody's gonna have their own interpretation of it and i really do like that so just florals reimagined another thing that i've been seeing lately and i love i'm pretty sure that the trend is going to be even bigger in spring and that is see-through skirts so your mesh your sheer skirts the skirts that come with just like a little panty they're typically longer that's what i've seen or layered and their sheer see-through mesh so before we were stuck on like the cutouts now we're just going full sheer but there is going to be some coverage in terms of like a panty or a bloomer those micro mini shorts that we just talked about but everything else will be sheer for me i absolutely love this trend i 10 out of 10 i would 
recommend there's something so alluring about it especially in black i saw a skirt on mango that has sold out or maybe has maybe like one or two sizes in stock but it's not my size and i should have bought this skirt originally and i did not buy it and i absolutely love this skirt it is sheer black and it comes with the panties it is stunning i saw it in person and i instantly regretted not purchasing it this is going to be a trend that i definitely think people should hop on i also think that it's going to look good on a lot of body types i also love that it will elongate the legs it's gonna make those legs look so good but it's not like super revealing and i love it with either some type of oversized knit or like even a blazer that just barely sits on the cusp of the bum chef's kiss so good absolutely love this trend if you can get your hand on any one of these then definitely pick it up the next one is going to be elevated sportswear kind of like your sporty chic apparently polos are back i'm not against it i love a good collar basically just that sporty chic vibe is in it's back the first person that comes to mind when i think about this particular trend is kia i feel like she embodies this trend to the t so if you just look at her style because it's like the elevated sporty chic vibes that is what the trend is pleated skirts polos even like jerseys with polos underneath them that layering i have a shoe that i feel like fits this trend perfectly and it is a collaboration with nike and it is the nike shocks but they're like heels or mules and it is these i am very well aware these are not going to be for everybody but i just think that these shoes are so cool they're um a collab with martin rose and they're really dope they are super comfortable so you still get that comfort of like a sneaker but it's almost like a low for heeled mule i can see this being one of the top sneakers moving into 2024 spring i can see this sneaker possibly being overcharged because it's already released so you can only get it on resale but this is just a dope sneaker to me that fits that elevated sporty chic it's not quite a sneaker but it's like it is a sneaker but you have some height to it it's a lot of things in one and yes it is over the top they did come out with like a black version a white version but you know this is more me i do love that trend because i think that it's comfortable but it's also like chic and elevated and i feel like you can do so much layering with that trend that it's gonna make people's outfits very interesting and the last trend is probably like my favorite trend because it is one of the things that i love the most and that is texture mm -hmm. all things texture i'm talking about raffia feathers micro fringe mesh all of these amazing textures we are going to see clothing with a lot of texture one of the dresses that really set off last year was that ajay raffia dress i feel like that was the dress of the year it's stunning to be honest with you and that is going to be that was like a snippet of what was to come we saw it on the runway with gucci with that that trench coat with that little micro fringe situation i feel like we also saw it last year in jacques mousse with all of that raffia all of those things are going to be huge in 2024 so if that's something that you're into bring those pieces out it doesn't even matter if it's sequin if it's bedazzled if it is embellish if it's metallic snake that texture is going to set it off okay it's only up from here so guys that is it for my 2024 spring fashion trends predictions i might revise this or come back with kind of like more of a summer trend any examples that i can find of any of these trends will be linked below make sure that you like comment and subscribe and let me know if there's any other fashion related videos that you want to see down in the comments below i love you guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video and the dress that i'm wearing will also be linked below see you in the next one bye